Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a while since we've last seen Ultiverse, and that is a bit on the fault of me. I sort of, um, since last time where I got pissed because I left the screen up, I was a bit annoyed, so, eh, sorry you heard that. So, yeah, blame me a bit, whatever. But, right now we have a show for y'all. It is episode 8 of Ultiverse, and I don't have any commentators with me at the moment, but... Uh, potentially may join in. I have no clue. However, our opening contest tonight is gonna showcase two guys who haven't really been booked too much. I don't think, actually, don't think they've been booked at all since the original tournament. It is Kevin Owens and Kenny Chaos. Both men hoping to, I guess, sort of showcase themselves a bit. Go ahead and try to wow me, in a sense, because it's partially, or it's partially what's needed in this case. Uh, referee's gonna be Guy Fieri. Let's do this. It's gone well, Craig, but would ni be nice to have a commentator. <laughs> Sorry, that's not selfish. It's just, it's in general, it seems cool. definitely open him midwest yeah Kenny chaos he was in the opening round of the uh world title tournament i believe lost in first round owens with a few good jabs there and into the corner goes chaos test of strength nope they're off yep oh big ddt from chaos rocks owens so Kenny Chaos taking early control then yeah it seemed uh it seemed like it at first but then owens with a back club now working the leg a bit a European uppercut knocks down a chaos again. Definitely gonna be an interesting opening contest. Neither of these men have been seen, I believe, since the first round of the tournament. So try to impress. And also keep in mind that off of the pay-per-view, uh, Morrigan still has uh, the special opportunity, which, as or basically as revealed now, is a opportunity or an opportunity for a championship match at either the Xenoverse or Multiverse title on any show she wants. That's uh, definitely going to be interesting to see when that is cashed in. Obviously, can't technically do a Money in the Bank gimmick with it, but this is the closest I'm going to get. That's still pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now, any any show that she wishes. Any Ultiverse show she wishes. Okay. Let, me clar <laughs> let me clarify. I'm not Had to make sure. Yeah. Th by the way, thank you for joining in, Craig. No problem. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, big forearm from yeah. Owens knocks down chaos. Um, I see one of my one of my name suggestions was the name of the show. Lead was Christ Superstar. Yeah, no, it's, I was I was just scrolling through to see if I could find a good name. It's like you know what, this is good. It tilt a wall backbreaker from Owens. Uh, uh, oh, that DDT cell still looks nasty. <laughs> uh, that's fire pro for you. It has some really good cells. I mean, taking DDT to the face does look impactful, however you take it. Yeah, and the kitchen sink sends chaos to the ground. Oh! Military press slam, following up with a, like, an arm trap camel clutch, almost. It seems Kenny Chaos in control, continuing to uh, try to work the head or neck of Owens. In the corner now. Kenny Chaos, Kenny Chaos looks like a more muscular Dolph Ziggler. He does a bit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 
Owens went for a package pile driver, but got back body dropped out of it. Big running Ooh. clothesline. Yeah, Khan, Khan hit it in the WWE. Yeah. Package pile driver. <laughs> Gotta tease it though. Mm -hmm. Rest hole from Kenny Chaos. Submissions! <laughs> Oh, that's a big power bomb, though. Oh, two count only. DDT from Chaos. And to the top. Nope, diving nothing. What the hell? Ooh, like torture rack spin out into a neck breaker. Don't entirely know what you would call that move. The running knee lift there. I that looks like um, Magnus's old finish was that, but he did that off the second rope. Yeah, okay, I could, I could see that a bit. Super kick from Owens. And the two tied to capitalizing now Candy Chaos with a single like Boston crowd on Owens. Lock up and DDT again. They keep they tend to go for the DDT. Turn that. Cover that. That's cool, man. Two point nine. <laughs> Pop a power bomb. And another military press slam from Chaos into a cover. Two. Not only a two count. The military press is not as impressive if you have arms. What? <laughs> Remember when Meg Jed and yeah. Nuclear, Nuclear Fire were hitting that like week in, week out? Oh, <laughs> right. It's, it's more impressive if you have no arms to press someone over your head. I guess that's <laughs> true, yeah. With the ropes. And a pop up power bomb. That may be it. Y yes, it is. I love the pop-up power of the finisher, he's such a cool finisher. And Kevin Owens gets a decisive win in the opening contest. We will now be moving on to our, or to our next match as well. And I did forget to mention, but um, just I guess for my sake, from now on, we're only going to be doing the eight-man tags for roster slots maybe once a month in-game. Okay. So that way, I'm not, like, overloading the roster immediately. Yeah. Uh, but we are moving on to our next contest, another one-on-one. -on -one. It is Raiden taking on the Berserker. And That's an interesting match. That sounds pretty cool. As you know, on the paper, I believe Raiden had picked up the victory over Striker. And he's trying to... Oop. Right clicked out of an accent. It seems he's trying to get away from his former partner. And do Doc Lewis as referee and let's go. That is <laughs> Berserker. <laughs> I like the lime green gear. Yeah, it it's <laughs> Ryan went for trouble in paradise immediately, but missed. Test of strength berserker wins it. Another elbow drop to the back of the head.
Berserker taking an early control here. Miss drop kick. Another miss drop. He's used to using those quick strikes. Yeah, he's trying to. It just gets bodied on the knee and then gets mounted punches to the head. Missed the uh, discus slap. Axe kick gets though. The kick, missed the chop. Short arm clothesline. Yeah, it definitely feels like a bit of a slower pace than the uh, than the last match. As well as because Raiden's offense has been sort of stifled by. I wish you could. I wish you could increase limb length in this game because then you could have the um you could have like a short arm clothesline on one side and then a long arm clothesline on the other side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just one short arm, one long arm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know, at least it lets you make uh, Gregory Iron. Or, what did Gregory Iron? Hmm. A modified sharpshooter by Raiden. Oh, that's the one where he. I, Raiden. Uh, Raiden's. Um... Squats, yeah. Yeah, it's the suplex toss. And there's a step kick and a nice cover. Breaks out of it though. Come on. Oh, nice kick combo. And now he's with the mounted forearms though. He looks <laughs> like he's got. Bers like the Zack Sabre Jr. style of um, rolling up people and then kicking them. Yeah, Berserker retain or uh, then return the favor. <laughs> Big suplex from Berserker, and right back to the mounted punches. Raiden's bleeding. They're effective. The mounted punches. Oh my god. Oh god. I mean, when I can bust a person open, or I can get to someone to. But that, oh my God! Right, in, nearly lost right there. Off the double, triple power bomb. Come on, come on. Mounted forearms now. Bust off! Knocks him right down. Cover. Two count only. Again with that head kick. No, oh, 2.9. Oh, jeez, that kick. Looks nasty. Shibata would be proud of that. Big spear. Yep, the form. Follow up the pin. Bull Nelson slam from Berserker and clubbing strikes. Oh, the double triple power bomb again. Cover. That. Wow. That's it. Whoa, off the double triple. Yeah. Berserker. That was a certainly fun. impressive. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to win, so there's something. The, lo the lime green gear increases his power tenfold. <laughs> Crazy. All right, we move on to our next match, a tag team match. As we are, oh, that's not what I meant to do. As it, as it will be, Big Blue Justice taking on Death by Disco. <laughs> Those are two. That's two good names. 
And they have Big Blue Justice, Yuji Nagata, and Captain Falcon. Yeah. And take it on Disco Inferno and Kashisono. Oh no, it's been really good so far. Disco, not as much, but Oh no has been surprisingly good in his tenure here. Yeah, Castisono seems to do well, like, more so in big matches, from what I've seen. I mean, he made the finals. I... Yeah. Uh, referee Mike Kyoto. Let me make sure this is not on elimination. Okay. Three count, 30 minutes, one fall, eight. That much more fall. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right. And to make sure I was doing everything right. Let's give it a mind, Cult of Lee are your tag team champions. This could help determine number contender. I like the name tag, Captain Yuji. <laughs> and so we like <laughs> Disco Owner. So we could get Disco Owner. Oh no, it's going to be Cassius Disco. There you go. Cassius Disco. Disco and like Nagata that. starting off. Snapmare from Inferno. Oh, missed the kick and the hook low. Okay. <laughs> he missed two kicks to start with and got ne um, neck breaker and punched in the groin. You can tell how the game's going to go. Yep. That was a big strike. You're tagging out to Falcon. Yeah. Assisted power bomb. Disco work in the arm. Snapmare from Falcon. Still work in the arm. Another snapmare. Inferno has some very basic offense. A running sh uh, uh, dash attack from Falcon. And jab combo. And running elbow. And double team, Falcon knocks both of them away. Falcon getting the upper hand a little bit. A little bit, but now in comes Hono. <laughs> of course it's a forearm slash elbow to the face that knocks down. Yeah, I mean, that's what Hono does best. So... Best either kicks and punches like Shibata or Daniel Bryan for kicks. Ono is always oh. going to be elbows. Oh, God. Oh, my. Discus, discus elbow attempt got booted in the face. Yeah, no, that looked nasty. <laughs> okay. Yuji <laughs> tried to throw Ono into the corner, and he just didn't go and shoved Yuji in there instead. <laughs> STF from Nagata. The standing moonsault from Ono. Cover only gets a one count. Another moonsault. Another only one count. Tom strike into that standing moonsault. Seems to be a working combination. Yeah, it seems to be. Oh, no, try to work the arm, did not get it. In comes Falcon. What the ultimate hold? Another ultimate hold. Or I think that's what that arm grab thing is. Just gonna slam since Falcon outside. The ropes. 
Running high knee missed. That did nothing. Oh, what the jumping mean? Didn't connect. Yeah. Well, I called the Triple H me because I think it was like one of his moves he had in like SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Yeah, like, no, that was a annoying move to deal with. My brother played Triple H all the time because of that move. And nope, Ono oh shoves Falcon in the corner again. Now he's in there. Doesn't get it though. Cover. One count only. Oh. Kick again, again, ten minutes into a tag match is kind of early to be getting ten balls. Yeah, but that's also this game's AI, I guess. Yeah. Missed the discus. Missed the discus again. Missed the discus a third time. Stop going for it if you keep missing it. <laughs> and Osaka Street maybe, Cutter. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe he isn't that he's doing. Maybe he's learning from Disco Inferno. They weren't discus forearms. They were just disco forearms. Sorry. <laughs> Big knee brush from Falcon. <laughs> Into the ropes, nope. Oh, he almost hit it but got blocked. Like kick, like kick. And tagging a disco. Nice. Nice, both of you. What are you doing, Inferno? It's like Steiner Dan. <laughs> oh! Chartbuster. <laughs> I see it. The <laughs> Steiner dance. Two count only. Oh! Chart Topper. That was. Eh, whatever. Yeah, like, Chart Topper is his uh, name for the villain. Steiner Dan. Yeah. And running nothing. Or running stupid spot. <laughs> Boston Crab on Nagata. Not I mean, it, if you're gonna do the stupid spot, at least make it your partner that looks stupid. Yeah. This one the guy that did. Disco up top, diving elbow. And out of the ring he goes. One, two, three, three. A brawl on the, in the ring and out the ring. Oh, that was a nice DDT. Counts broken at 16. This guy thought, did it hit an elbow in the ring on, on Captain Falcon? Yep. Mr. Discus again. And the Gary from Nagata. STF. And so Cassius, the non-legal man, locks a submission in. <laughs> Big back suplex. I mean, I've seen weirder in this game. Yeah. I uh, yo yo. What you missed was oh, I didn't I didn't do a TXN match because I want to keep that to like once a month. What you missed was the Berserker beating Raiden and Kevin Owens beating Kenny Chaos. Submissions. Submission. Tagging Ono. Oh no. Brings up the pin by kicking his teammate in the face. Ooh. Or brings up the submission. Okay, that was smart. He at least docked to the NZ. Oh. Uh, tornado oh DDT from Ono. Oh and a submission Ooh. in. No, it breaks it up. Whoa! It's how Falcon Look. does diving double knees. And an STF. How fast that tornado DDT comes up the top rope. It's a bit ridiculous, yeah. Oh, if that actually worked, that would have been cool. They gotta try to go for an Enzigiri and Cassius was trying to big boot him out of it. Oh, oh, okay. That was really quick. I did not expect that. I'm waiting to see what the finish was. 
That was the finish. No, nah, it wasn't the finish, but it was just like a really quick leg lock from a, or from Nagata. It looked nice. Oh, that, yeah, that was a good transition. Cover off the backdrop driver, broken up. Pete Falcon Captain kick. Falcon was trying to trying no. to steal the, the line line by dancing on the Fal spot. Falcon, you jerk! Oh, 2.9. Ah, uh, we re we nearly had a discus elbow, but then, oh, but then Falcon stopped it. Did not give up. There you go, sleeper. Oh, <laughs> okay. Missed the boot. Missed that. Sleeper yeah. into like a PK. There you go. That's discus elbow. Cover. That's it! He finally hit the discus elbow in one. He hit the disco elbow for this is because of the tag team. Yes. Alright. Solid tag match. As we move on to the next bout. Um, yeah, we'll do that next. Because I was writing down part of the card that I had in mind earlier. But then, um, but not, I also lost a bit of it because I had to reset something. So, you haven't been booked in a while. So we'll do you against, hmm, who would work? Now you're, no. That works. Moving right along. I'm going to do that tag match next week. Because when I wanted to get in booked. It is Aaron Ryan against Android 17. That's an interesting match. <laughs> Uh, I think there's a mod for custom arenas. Yeah, there's a mod for it. I'm not good with mods, though, so I can't tell you which one. Uh, neither am I. Fair Bear Referee. It was Aaron Ryan fought Italian Spider Man at the last pay per view? <laughs> And memory serves. Ended, yeah, ended up losing that match. You know, Android 13 hasn't really been seen since the tournament. Italian Spider Man's been on kind of a roll because he also beat his surprise opponent at uh, Forever's pay uh, big event. Maybe he's just good in pay per views. Hmm. Aaron Ryan is kicking the shit out of Android 17 in the first 30 seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> Just locks up, punch, lock up, punch. Hump lock from behind. Cover. This, this is definitely a, gonna be fast paced. Aaron Ryan taking out his frustrations. Oh my god. Mounted head watch from Aaron. Oh my god. That bit below the belt, but alright. Sidewalk slam from 17. Knee, knee to the rover. Yeah, knee to the what'd you what'd you say? Robo groin. Oh, okay. <laughs> More chokes. Big strike combo from 17. I mean, does the no to the groin rule still go into effect here if it's a robot you're facing or an android you're facing? Should I reword it too? I tech, I guess so. <laughs> Referee seem, or seems to think so. Oh, missed the drop kick. Run yourself into the corner as you toss the other guy into the corner. Gotcha. Four on battle. Ryan wins it. Need to the rubble grind. Cover. 
two count only over near not even five minutes in the match. What the? F oh, I see. Okay. I did say it'd be a fast-paced match. So. Oh my god. <laughs> Flying muscle buster into uh, frog splash. And Kaniku buster into that. Also, that. Yeah. Get. That, yeah. Kaniku buster into. Uh, oh, I just got. I'm just gonna call you OVE if that's alright. That was a Kaniku Buster into Frog Splash. Oh, he has the Steel Knuckles. Cover, Cocky Pin. 2.9. Another Frog Splash, really high angle. Second one in a row. That's straight up biting. Andrew 17 bleeding. Roll up though, nope. God, okay. Forgot he had that. There is so many insane moves in this match. Fast paced, crazy. Big headbutt. There's that very fast paced match. It's a solid way to get the crowd hyped. Uh, up top, Frog Splash. Oh, 2.9. Off the ropes, nothing. Off the ropes, nothing. More knees. Nice side belly to belly. Refusing to sell the Irish whip is the best thing to do. Yeah. I honestly didn't expect this to last 10 minutes, but it did, so. I sign him a decent match then. Another running big boot. Big strike combo there. Uh oh. No, nothing. Man <laughs> mandible, mandible core with a box and gun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, forearms. Another frog splash. Mm, God, more head bites. Need him to face Hanma. That's it. 12 minutes exactly. Aaron Ryan wins off the uh, the Manable Glove Claw. I just remove this. I guess I'm right here. One more match, and then main event. I have the team of Voting Dream and Repo Man. Potential again, potentially going for number one contendership. Ah, the repossessed dream. <laughs> yes. Uh, who won that match? They won. Okay. They will be taking on the team of. Actually, let's do this. Hanma Taguchi. Ooh. 
keeping them from the uh, tag league. It's going to be semi main. Zoidburn refereeing the tag match. <laughs> Duck the clothesline and cause him to keep running. <laughs> I'm so glad to see Han the back IRL. Yeah, no, there's definitely a. He, he's, he's good, it's just like the head butcher, eh. Double stiplex the Han that sends him outside. I think he got told to ease down on his headbutts. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. Even though it wasn't a headbutt that injured him, it was a um, botched DDT. Big steep slam. Yeah, either way, headbutts did hurt it a bit. Big scoop and a slam from Velveteen Dream. <laughs> I love that kick. I love the little kick to the head. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the little tease kick. Yeah, the shade to Michael P.S. Hayes. Ankle lock like, to Gucci. It's like, well, you're down already, so I'm gonna. You know, just form take battle. advantage. Five minutes have passed. Another scoop slam from Velveteen. Another scoop slam. <laughs> scoop slam C. Call him up, Vince. Running hip attack. German suplex with a bridge who gets a one count. Of course Taguchi when he does an Irish trip but does the ass buster. Like the flying ass attack, whatever you call it. The rear view. Yeah. Tagging the repo. Get that tease kick again. <laughs> repo just doesn't even need to attack. Velvet team just beat up Taguchi a good deal. <laughs> Off the road, running nothing. Belly to belly was the last movie he does before he like. Echo re lock. He's like, like repo take over, do something. Cover, I guess. I don't, off of what I don't know. After kicking out of a submission attempt. Nice. Big sidewalk slam, and there's a cover. One count only. Still too early in the match. For pins to really do much, I guess. Oh no. Oh! God, I raked him off. Short on post line. And a tag in a Hanma. Back where we started. More scoop slams. Anyone they, could do a scoop slam. Did Repo Man just try and hit a Rainmaker? It'd be like the Repo Maker. <laughs> the Repo Maker, goddammit. If the Purple Rainmaker is the Repo Maker. <laughs> Flying headbutt. Drop. 
Axe. Oh, there's a low angle there. Scoop slime meeting into, into a leg drop. That was a good. That was a nice German suplex, actually. Yo, Velveteen, you got in here to break it up, and you haven't done anything. <laughs> Taguchi's coming to get repo, so he runs away and tags in a Velveteen. <laughs> <laughs> Two can on a pin from Velveteen. Off the rope, running nothing. Just saw that. What the hell was that? <laughs> There's the taunt kick. Oh. Death Valley Driver. Big chops from Hanma. Spicoli. Yeah, Spicoli Driver. However you want to call it. Oh. I, oh I've just watched too much of Stiver. Big so Purple Rainmaker to the back of Hanma. Rainmaker pose as well. And he's out of there. Oh. Uh, another Purple Rainmaker to Hanma. More scoop slams. Oh, chin lock. Nope. What? Chin locks is what, are you, what are you doing? What were you do he was waiting for Hanma to come in to attack Velveteen, but he never came in, so he just stood <laughs> there like an idiot. <laughs> oh. Very well, to <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. You'll see what he just did. Cover. I see that the drop kick and the uh, like the, the flying rear view of the top, top rope. Yeah, top rope flying. That's what I meant more. <laughs> uh, top rope flying. Ass. Oh, <laughs> Bronco Buster. And get off the ropes, a running drop kick. All signature moves of Taguchi, Bronco Buster and Flying Ass. Tag out to Repo Man, roll up. In the ropes though, so he's not getting an upset victory like he did over uh, Owens. Tiger Suplex, rope break. His bottom half is made of steel. Probably. <laughs> More back suplexes to Hanma. Oh no. Burning Hammer Power Bomb. Broken up. There you Spin go. Out, <laughs> uh, double team. Oh, double on Zagiri. Riki oh my hair, Rikishi Drive. Ankle lock. Broken up. Off the ropes. Nothing. Blue Thunder Bomb. And the taunt kick to follow up the breakout of it. Oh no. Double team in corner? Nope. Reaper's was just taunting. He wasn't even doing anything, he just taunted. Oh. You're joking. <laughs> just <jumped laughs> <up his spot. laughs> I've got to see what this was. He did it again. Did it again? Nope. <laughs> the double team Hanma tried to roll him up a missed it the first time another Bronco Buster oh. diving splash that's in the ropes well dog drag him away you to Hanma Oh, ankle lock. Broken up. Boston Crab on him. Roll up. Ooh, that was close. Actually really close. Stupid spot. Running drop right. kick to the back. Velveteen gets up first though. More scoop slams. Stop with the scoop slams. It's that friggin' Sister Abigail type thing. I know it's supposed to be a DDT, but they don't have it in the game. 
<laughs> we just stomped him. He's beating him up anyways. <laughs> Reaper Man is annoyed at the loss. And I would be too, because that was a roll-up. Post-match healed attack by Reaper Man. Also, I clipped the botch double team. Thank you. Uh, we're going to move into main event here. It is a triple threat match for potential number one contendership at the world title. And it's between oh, Sunshine. Because he won his um, match against Repo Man on the pay per view. Trent Seven. That's not Trent Seven. One above. There we go. <laughs> What's the different? Oh, he has different boots. That's why. And. Oh, I can see why the thing. That's the um the white, the white ones are mustache mountain rules. Yeah. And. The other one will be who it actually makes or who is suggested by him. That's a better question because he had a, he had a match pretty much like this. Um, yeah, this will work <laughs> up against Mac McDonald. Oh my god, I saw um blue Ra blue ranger Stevie Richards. Yep, I'm not referee for this contest. Referee off. And this is number one contender to the multiverse title. So whoever wins will be facing uh, could do a punch punch kick. Either end. This is a hundred. Oh god, I screwed up. I messed up the speed of this. Hold on. Let's retry that. Settings. Level eight CPU, 125 speed. Lumber roll DQ count. The rest of it's fine. Just had to fix that. That could have been kind of cool to see a slow boy match. No. May do it on pay per view if it's like requested. We do like one of the um, PWG slow motion matches. <laughs> can you go slower than 100? I don't know. I think slaps. You can. Chops. Chops and slaps. Oh, that was not safe. So, of course, Mac, former Xenoverse champion. Sunshine won his pay per view match against Reaper Man, and Trent Seven has been sort of like a constant contender for the Xenoverse title. But here they're okay. Here they're trying to earn a shot at the Multiverse title. Held currently by Kaneko Man PPK. There's a suplex gets ch leg chopped to both of them Ooh, pull down. They are double teaming on Trent right now. At least it looks like it. Never mind. Double triple power bomb the back. Everybody Irish whip. And Max out of the ring. Oh. Max again out of the ring. What the hell? Are you, what are you doing? Oh. Pile driver to the sunshine. Ooh. They keep sending Mac out of the ring. <laughs> They're doing the typical WWE triple threat. Yeah. Two people stay in the ring, the third man gets thrown out and sell for a while. Yeah, <laughs> Max out of the ring again. <laughs> oh my god. No surfboard stretch. Rope break though. Running nothing. Now Sunshine's out of the ring and Trent takes advantage of single leg crab, but he's in the ropes. Yeah, the corner, missed the boot. Double team on Mac does not work. Okay, okay. Oh! Seven stars! The seven star lariat. 
Oh my god, I've got to see this. Yep, seven stars. Okay. Yeah. Hold on a second. Well, our commentator has his phone alarm go off. Uh, I will call some of the action. Uh, big s Ooh! Went for a scoop slam there, but then hit by Trent Seven there. Sunshine backbreaked by Trent. Back kind of staying out of it till now. Gets axe handled. <laughs> Again, right. Trent not not having any anything to do, well, not wanting anything okay. to do with my sunshine. Apologies. There's another short on close line. Remember, this is first fall to a finish. Oh, power bomb to Mac, broken up because of ropes. They keep staying near the ropes. I don't entirely know why. I mean, if you're closer to the ropes, it means you're closer to like throwing someone else out. Yeah, but it also means your pinfalls are going to be broken up. True. Another seven stars Larry at the sunshine. And, oh, nope, not out of the ring. Big chop by tread. Cover. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's um, a quick boot. To say, Trent, you're gonna break it up. Neutralizer by Sunshine. Oh yeah, got oh got stuck forward. Slap, yeah, it's neutralizer. More bear hugs. Now, oh. ooh, back to books backbreaker by Sunshine. And a world's strongest slam. Another backbreaker. That, that's a third seven stars Larry at the sunshine. <laughs> Cover. What are you looking for, Mac? Nothing. Okay. 21 stars done to sunshine. <laughs> Running clothesline. More close oh, off the ropes. Nothing. Because he's gonna stupid spot. <laughs> uh, oop, yep. Perfect. In <laughs> the triple threat, that's more perfect. Bear hug and sunshine, no. Broken up before it could be a submission proper. Trent doesn't do the pyramid pin after doing that power bomb. He kind of just puts a hand re like relaxingly on his buttock. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone down for a second. Everyone running. Everyone in the corners. Oh, you can go corner to corner, Sunshine. Oh, you, oh, you just kick back in the groin once in the Tree of Woe. Sunshine seems to be very content with thinking Mac's going to kick out. Yeah, he was. Jeez. Maybe he's still dazed after the virus whip. Because that was the last one that hit him properly. Nice. Oh, he kicked, he kicked him out of midair while he was doing the leg drop. Yep. That was insane. Oh, a backhand. I'd love to see that. Big I, would, I would love to see that in a real match, actually. Someone go for a leg drop and then kicked out of the way. That would be cool. Stupid spot. Max, the only one standing. <laughs> Running splash, and he is down. <laughs> oh, inverted atomic drop. Oh, Trent with a pile driver. Sunshine's dazed. Oh, choke slam. Oh, that did not look safe. 
That was early style cane choke slam. Oh my god. Oof. Double it's down. Possible. Max the only one standing. Head. Yeah, dropped him on his head. Max also extremely tired from the looks of it. Both of them in the corner. Nope, nothing happens. Bear hug. Oh my god. Mac just went off a bear hug. Oh my god. I mean, he, he's got a couple of sneaky wins. Remember, he was the first person to do the double in the eight-man over-the-top battle world. Um, yeah. So he does. He's, a, he's like the ultimate underdog. He can win from out of anything. That is true, but that also means he'll be taking on Kaneku PPK next show. Uh, or not next show, but next pay-per-view. Anyways, that was a shorter show, just sort of, I guess, remind that this exists, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you, Craig, for joining us, or joining me as commentator. If you want to check him out, go on twitch.tv slash forevercraig for uh, Forever Wrestling, and other than that, see you next time.